Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to another Is It Worth It? Um, I came across um, a tweet from the Royal Mint um, who were offering uh, storage for for coins. Now, uh, it seems as though that the Royal Mint are kind of expanding somewhat um, and they have some wooden uh, coin, coin storage holders or coin drawers, should I say. Um, that they are selling. Um, they were quite expensive, about eight hundred and fifty pounds. Um, there is other other guys out there uh, who actually make these bespoke type things, uh, similar um, for about three hundred and fifty to four hundred pounds. So uh, for me, the Royal Mint are uh, kind of getting excessive in that respect. Um, and I I had clicked on a link that brought me to their historic coins, or uh, historic sets, should I say. And uh, I was just having a look through, and I wanted to, you know, kind of look through all this. So here we see this one here, um, a 50-year sovereign set. Now, in this set, you will get a, let me just click on this, you'll get a 1968, uh, Sovereign, and you'll also get a nice shiny 2018 Sovereign. Both of these coins are bullion. I would expect to pay maybe between 220 to 40 for each of these coins. And the Royal Mint, uh, because it's in lovely, lovely packaging of the Royal Mint, um, is now 750 pounds. That is extremely excessive 1968 there was over 4 million of these coins struck um, 2018 I've no idea but they're a billion coins so they'll be striking uh, forever in a day uh, of these coins and um, this this brings me to, to my point of uh, like you know like one certain youtuber who says that you know because it's in a packaging uh, it's got to be worth more. I uh, don't believe that whatsoever. If you guys look around, a 1968 Sovereign and a 2018 Sovereign, you, you'll you find that you'll probably get pick up both for £500, roughly. Uh, so the packaging is going to cost you another £250. Um, when I scroll down, the half here, this um, 1918 and 2018 set now that's a much lower price now the 1918 coin is actually a 1918 india if you look there you can see the eye um, now these indian coins i believe there was something like a million or so let me just check my book here um 1918 india there was 1.295 million struck so you know there's a lot like two and a half two and a half million less than the uh, 1968 so why they're asking for so much more uh, and they're actually saying it's available in limited numbers now if it was limited then you would think to yourself well you know according to some people limited mentors or smaller mentors uh, they'll be worth more uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So 695 for that one. And 750 uh, for a 50th. Now it also says this isn't in limited numbers. Yeah, it's it's 750 pounds. So why oh why is this 55 pounds more than one that's got a smaller mintage? Uh, the 1918i has got a smaller mintage. And yet this is this is uh £55 more. It just seems to me that it's uh, really, really excessive. Um, and as I said, you can pick up these two coins for about £500 on their own. Um, so it brought me around to these strike on the day coins that um, you know that the Royal Mint are pumping out these days. Um, and I, I kind of had a, a route through eBay. Um, I wanted to just uh, pick up a few coins 
not personally, I just wanted to pick up on uh, some of these coins and uh, show you how these strike on the days are doing. Are they worth it? Um, are they uh, increasing in value? Personally, I don't think they are increasing in value. I think um, some people just can't see green cheese without wanting something. And uh, I think that's all it's all about. It's uh, about greed and, um, you know, fever pitch, hype, uh, hype from YouTubers. Um, and uh, I wanted to just pick up on some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few of them. Uh, some of these strike on the days and uh, let's have a look at how they're doing. So the first one I wanted to look at, or the first one that I found, was this uh, 2017 Struck on the Day Sapphire Jubilee. Um, now everybody knows the London Coin Company. We all know how excessive they are in their prices. Um, what surprises me is that people actually buy from this guy and that this guy is still in, in business because his, his stuff is crazy, stupid, excessive, um, and even the postage. I mean, £50 for postage for express delivery within the UK is absolutely insane. Um, so here we see this one here for £1,000 virtually and uh, 50 pound for postage um, and now um, I found one that recently sold on eBay exactly the same coin uh, sitting in exactly the same uh, mint packaging and uh, here we go 399 pounds 400 pounds call it so there's £600 difference uh, on this coin. So you can see, um, now, I have no idea how much this cost on release. I would think, if we're looking at how the other ones have come out, I would think about £450 to £500. Um, and if that's the case, then this uh, this guy here, has lost money. Um, now we're always told from some YouTubers that these coins are the end thing. They'll be doing great. 750 mintage. Um, now if I remember rightly, the 200th anniversary of Queen Victoria was that 650 mintage or so. Can't quite remember what that mintage was. But here you see the difference in what, you know, of what somebody actually values this coin at. One bid, and it has no interest to anybody, apart from one bidder, 3rd of June 2019, so that's this month, um, and this coin's two years old. Now, if you think about it this way, what are other coins going to do, you know, when, you know, people like... Uh, these YouTubers tell you that this coin is going to do fantastic. It'll be this, that, and the next thing. It's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. In two years, five years, it's going to be worth X, 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 X. Um, sorry, it's not. It's just a gold coin with the little pimped out privy saying it's a sapphire jubilee and blah, blah, blah. It's not worth more than its gold content. It's, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of packaging and... It seems to me that some YouTubers um, rate the packaging as much as the coin. Um, you know, every mint puts a, a coin with packaging. They have to do, but they don't charge like two hundred pounds for the packaging. So there you go, guys. There's uh, just one coin, uh, this uh, Sapphire Jubilee Strike on the day. Uh, here you can see how excessive. I mean, everybody, as I said, everybody knows how the London com Coin Company are excessive anyway. But this just shows you what people actually value these coins at. Okay, we're going to look at another one. Uh, let me just get this. So here I wanted to highlight um, this coin here. 
1979 gold proof sovereign 40 year anniversary now the anniversary was um, basically for uh, this was the first proof struck I believe since 1937 this was struck in uh, 79 I don't know why it would be a 40 year anniversary that's 42 years um, just looking through it um, If you remember, you know, what people are telling you on YouTube, they're basically saying that these coins, these anniversary coins will be worth X in so many years, in two, five years. Well, here's one here with 40 years. It has a much lower mintage than your, for example, 200th anniversary of Queen Victoria being born. Um, this is a 40-year-old coin. It's sitting there at 675 with an offer. Now, according to YouTubers, they tell you these coins will be worth way more in two to five years or more. Um, and there we go. Uh, 675 with offers. To me, that isn't worth much more than uh, anything else, to be perfectly honest. Um, 40 years old and there's really not a lot of appreciation of course these coins were you know they were bought at a much much lower price than uh, than today's proofs so um, it, for me it still doesn't say that it's worth anything else it's worth that sort of money they're basically what they're doing is giving you a kind of today price and um, that's what you're saying. But it's, as I said, these coins are still sitting around doing nothing because they're overpriced. Um, hopefully you guys are kind of like waking it up here a little bit as to what I'm pointing out. Um, so we'll get on to the next coin. Uh, we'll show you those. Okay, here we are again back at the London Coin Company. Yes, I know that the London Coin Company are excessive. Um, I'm just kind of showing you or showing my point. Um, here we are, another sapphire, but this time plain edge. Now that's the second one, I believe. One was just a struck on the day. This is a struck on the day plain edge or whatever it is. Um, $1,099.95. And uh, again, fifty pounds postage. Uh, and just my advice, if I were you guys, uh, I wouldn't have bothered buying from this guy because he is just insanely, insanely excessive in price. So, um, twenty eighteen struck on the day sapphire. Um, can we find one recently that sold? Yes, we can. Sixteenth of March, twenty nineteen. 543 pounds and this one is actually graded as you can see um, so that's actually cost more uh, has to go and get it graded and so on and uh, again I don't know the, re the release prices of these coins I have no idea I, I would think 450 to 500 <coughs> take into account um, EB fees uh, take into account grading fees, uh, take into account uh, everything else that's going on with these coins. Um, this is actually a first strike that would actually cost more money. Uh, first strikes actually, uh, to get that designation of first strike, I think it costs another £10 on top, €10, Euros, £10, pounds, whatever. So that for grading would probably cost. Um, Thirty pounds plus um, postage, shipping there and back. Uh, in my opinion, that is uh, a loss. And uh, as I said, these uh, these all these coins are we've been told are fantastic investments and the best things since sliced bread. And um, again, I'm just showing you that they are excessively overpriced or at least the one from London Coin Company was. And, um, you know, £500 from the Royal Mint 
on release. Um, they just all they're doing is whipping up a frenzy, you know, and then we see YouTubers kind of whipping up their viewers into a frenzy, and they must think that it's got to be the best thing. Um, but if you guys come back, and if you're looking for one of these coins, you come back in a year or two, you'll probably get it for less than the release price from the Royal Mint. And uh, just be careful with your money. This is what I'm saying. Be careful with your money. You can actually buy um, some really decent um, Victoria Sovereigns or so. You can buy a really nice one, actually, for that price. And for this price here, you could probably get a really, quite a rare one. Um, so uh, these rare ones will actually an increase in price other than these uh, modern day sovereigns that are getting pumped out with privies and so on they will uh, increase more in price than these things will that's for sure okay what else have we got let's have a look and see what we can find so here we have the uh, 2017 Petruski um, now £630. This has just ended um, maybe about an hour ago as I'm recording. £630. Reserve not met. The buyer obviously thinks that this is worth more money. Um, pictures are really poor in my opinion. And I think that will be one of the reasons why <coughs> this, uh, this coin didn't sell. The other reason will be um, he's ended it really early, or he's he's made the finish time really early, uh, which was a quarter to nine uh, GMT time uh, or British time. Wait a minute, let me just get rid of this. And um, he's ended it really early. I personally would have put this on a Sunday end date um, at night. Uh, it's like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Um, I think that's his own fault for what he's done here. Um, the Petuski design, I do believe, will appreciate more. It has appreciated more. I think the release, uh, the release price was 425 if I'm not mistaken. Um, so even at 630 uh, it is making money, and it's also ungraded. I think if you got a graded coin, you would be looking at more money. Now, this is what I'm saying. This is the difference. This is a Petruski reverse Georgian Dragon. It was something different um, that the Royal Mint released other than the normal junk that's coming out with Privy Marks. And that's why this coin is um, valued more these days um, than the other stuff. And as I've showed you, these 2017 Sapphire Strike on the Days and so on, crap. Um, there's just nothing in them. This one is kind of one that, uh, in my opinion, will appreciate over time. Uh, because it was a different design. And that's the top and bottom of it. Now, this guy has relisted this one, I believe. So we'll just, like, check it. <coughs> there you go. He's starting this one at £400. Um, the only problem for me is the pictures. They aren't great. Um, you can't tell if there's any scratches around on this coin because the pictures are pretty bad. So it's going to be a lucky dip um, whether this coin has any type of scratches on. Um, and if any of you guys are looking to maybe bid on this one, I would ask them for better pictures. And um, hopefully you can get uh, something out of that. Hopefully. So this so far is the only coin for me that will do anything in the coming years and you would be better to hold on to these. The mintage of these were also higher than, than any of the other ones that you saw. This was a ten and a half thousand mintage, whereas the sapphire strike on the day uh, was seven fifty. The other the 2018, I think the 2017 was something like 650. Uh, and as you can see, in my opinion, this is uh, has a lot more value than any of those um, that we've seen, these pimped out privy ones. Okay, let's just have a little summary and see if there's anything else that I can find for you. 
So just a quick summary left here. Um, here you can see these uh, coins sitting on the shelves, uh, being unloved. This one's got 46 bids. Uh, this is going to be ending in two days. Uh, the rest are like buy it now. So now, if these coins were on, uh, like, a, say for example, an auction, you'll probably find that these coins will be worth way less. Um, as you saw, or as I showed you, there was one bid on one coin at three ninety nine, um, and in my opinion, that's probably where this would end up. Um, so, just in short, and just a little summary, don't take what YouTubers tell you that it's going to be rare, and it's going to be this, and it's going to be that. Um, not everything's rare. There's only one or two coins from the Royal Mint sovereigns, for example, that will rise in value. Um, I still believe the 2017 Petruski. Um, uh, I still believe the 2017 Petruski will be a decent coin. Uh, it has a different reverse. All these pimped out privy coins, struck on the days and so on, these for me are not um, worth this type of money. This here is still the hype. Give it another, give it six weeks, uh, another coin will be out, uh, which I've heard actually that the Royal Mint are going to be doing a different uh, finish uh, of the same coin here. So you'll be able to grab another one and guess what's going to happen to these prices. And guess what's going to happen to the other one's prices. It's all going to be the same thing. It's just a big spinning wheel for the e uh, eBay marketing team, the YouTube marketing team uh, of uh, certain, certain YouTubers and um, also the Royal Mint marketing team. All these coins, they are not worth this type of money. They are not worth this type of money. Uh, no matter how you look at it, I mean, check, check this out, 13 people watching this. Uh, I think this will probably be London coins though. Um, for some reason he had, uh, I think he had like two, 10, 7, 10 coins or something like that. Um, and yet we were told by the Royal Mint that it was one per household. So how he's got that many? I have no idea. There you go, 425 struck on the day. Um, as you can see, these coins just aren't worth that money. Nobody is picking them up. Nobody is buying them. They're still sitting on the shelves. So there you have it, guys. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm bringing you guys some value. Now I do understand that there are guys out there that will buy everything sovereign. That's entirely up to you guys. But please try and get into the Royal Mint before you get onto the eBay because you're just feeding the machine. You're feeding these greedy people on eBay. You're just feeding them money and all they're doing is going to be buying another two or three with their profits of another or of the next coin. They're just going to buy another two or three and then they're just going to make even more money from you guys. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you can maybe some point take a step back and say, oh, hey, Jesus, I think Dave was right, maybe right. Um, that's entirely up to you. All this here that I'm showing you is merely my opinion. I know other people have different opinions where they'll agree with uh, other people. That's entirely up to you. At the end of the day, it's your money what you're spending. It's not mine. Um, for a thousand and two hundred and fifty pounds, I can get myself a really rare uh, Queen Victoria sovereign that will rise in value eventually over time. Um, and I don't think these are going to. Um, this year is just phenomenal. Okay, guys, I think I'll wrap this one up. And um, as always, uh, thank you for listening to my um, comments on these type of things. I hope it brings value to you guys. I hope you kind of sit up and have a look at the different side of the coin that I'm trying to show you instead of listening to other people. Um, of course, take both sides of the argument. And um, I, but I hope what I'm showing you, I'm actually showing you, um, I'm going to mention Numistaker. Numistaker is not showing you that it's rising price. He's basically telling you that it's going to rise in price where there is no um, sales or secondary market sales when he's telling you this. Um, what you're seeing here is basically hype 
prices. This isn't like the dust hasn't settled on any of these coins yet, and when they will, I'm a hundred percent sure that these coins will fall, just like the other ones that I've showed you. You know, the previous price of three hundred ninety nine for the sapphire. Um, these coins will eventually fall and you guys are just going to be left with negative equity in a coin and you're eventually going to get rid of one thing. You know, Jesus, I've paid so much money for this. I've just lost five, six hundred pounds. So it's just a warning for you guys and I hope that the, the videos do help you. And um, like, comment and subscribe as usual and uh, we'll catch you on the next Is It Worth It video. Bye for now.